after months of morning routines and consistency. No, 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 no. We need at least six, or you are fired. The truth appeared right in front of my eyes. Full six degrees of freedom. Eight customizable touch sensitive buttons. New compliant mechanism technology for a premium feel. Fully customizable RGB. And the cherry on top. Open source code. Alright. And the mouse is done. You are always full of ideas before going in front of the camera. And then your mind just poof, goes black. So, I've got the mouse. It works. Full six degrees of freedom. Yeah, there is not much more to say. It uses uh, a gyroscope, a magnetometer, an Arduino, and some weights. Oh, in my mind the video was so fucking nice. And then this shit comes in. I need the topics. I need the topics uh, to know what to say. Just start recording, I said. Ha! <laughs> there is a lot inside this device. And uh, in four days, I'm gonna do a live session where I build one entirely from the kit I'm going to sell. In that live, I'm going to answer any question you might have. And if no one connects to the live, well, I'm gonna answer anyways. I'm gonna say anything you should know to build one. And in my opinion, building entirely the mouse is the best tutorial I can make. You need a soldering station. Is that it? Really? Am I forgetting something? Let me see the transparent ones. Maybe I'm forgetting something. Attack. Super glue. As you Americans call it. How can you have this mouse? I've made an Etsy page where you can buy this mouse. You have uh, three options. One is without any weights, so only the 3D printed parts and the components. The second one is a 3D printed part and a base plate, wrist rest if you want to call it that, with concrete inside for a bit of weight. And the third one is going to be the 3D printed parts with lead balls inside. Why lead? because it needed to be dense enough in this form factor. The thing is, I don't have a reliable source of lead, <laughs> obviously. So my suggestion is to buy the mouse with the base plate, because in the future you can still get steel balls or, or any weight you want to put in, because the model is the same for all the three versions. So you can still open this tiny cup, put in the, the weights, and you're fine. Now, you might ask, is it really necessary to use lead balls? Well, I've tried quite a bit of options, and the worst one I've tried is this one. I've spent probably three hours making one, hoping it was enough, it wasn't. Damn. Oh, this fault. Yeah. It's not enough. Fuck this one. Fuck this. I wanted to make a video so fucking nice. In my head it was perfect. I had cinematic shots. I had a whiteboard where I 
was explaining uh, all the circuitry. I even made the electronic uh, drawings uh, to explain them. But the reality is I'm not good at making videos. So instead of losing too much time on videos, I want to start making live sessions where uh, I create with you. I show you my thought process, uh, the inventions I'm doing right now, and uh, how I handle uh, things that break, uh, how I solve problems, uh, and I think it could be way better like this. It goes more to the direct direction that I just want to create. As you can already see in my first videos, I get lost in trying to be funny. Well, I'm funny to me, but I get lost in it. So I even forget to, sp to say what I should say. During the day, I will still create things. So why not doing it together? Giving the opportunity to someone to see how to create things. It's sponsor time. Uh. <laughs> I'm all over the place. PCB way. The battery died on me. Where was I? PCB way. My sponsors. He lost a leg, but he's fine. Thank you, PCB way, for sponsoring. Is it a sponsor? I might say it's a sponsor. For helping me out. Huh? Building a transparent version of the mouse. It's pretty nice. I like it. Uh, they make great stuff. There is also another way to get this mouse. You can buy only the electronics. And if you go to this other link, there is my profile on PCBWay. And you can order the pieces of the mouse in whatever material you want. Except for the moving part, the upper part. It needs to be PETG. If it's not PTG, it's not going to work because the compliant mechanism is fine-tuned for PTG. I'm editing right now the video and I forgot to mention that if you only want the 3D models, they will be available on my Patreon. What else do I need to say? Why am I selling a cat? Because even if you have half of these parts already at home, because if you are looking at this video and want to buy a kit, you probably already have a soldering station, uh, jumper wires. Uh, you need uh, a specific magnet with a specific strength because the code and the magnetometer are tuned for this specific magnet. Maybe you don't have the resistors, it's not really common to have the 4.7 million resistors. Uh, Ohm resistors, the copper wires, they are kind of expensive. Oh, the software, the software, the software is open source. Also, one more reason on why this is a kit and I'm not selling assembled one. So it's more like an artistic project. It takes a bit of patience and dexterity with your hands. If you can make one of these from the kit, you should be a bit proud, because it's not easy. For like the first time, I searched by myself papers on compliant mechanisms, and I found one made for aerospace uh, six degrees of freedom. I've got I got the shape, I made variations, and I created my own compliant mechanism for a 6 degrees of freedom in PTG. And it felt good. It felt really good to create something like this. It's like when you see a field of snow and there are no steps in it. And you are the one that make, that make the steps. It feels great also feels lonely. I don't have people around me that I can ask, what do you think of this? Uh, 
What do you think of this resistor of or this shape? So that's why even in the live sessions, even if I find I, even if I find three people that I can converse about what I can make what I can make different or how can I improve something, it helps. And it's really nice. It, it feels less it feels less lonely. Oh, I'm not in my room, as you can see. Why? Because I, I'm in a warehouse with my best friend. It's big. <laughs> I've got a lot of space and uh, I can create really a lot of stuff in here. And that's my goal, to actually make creations of any type, from electronics to woodworking, and show it to you in live sessions. Because, let's be real, making videos is hard. You need to know so many things to make videos that it's too much. Lighting, uh, recording, uh, uh, mounting the video, audio, uh, the script, oh my god, the script is so fucking hard. Can I say fucking on YouTube? No, I can't. Damn, okay. I have a lot of inventions that I've done in my free time and haven't shown to anyone. And my goal right now and the next months is to probably make two to three lives a week, perfecting these inventions and selling them and if you w actually want to be a part of creating things you can just join the live i will probably make a discord i already have a discord huh? J j i'm just joking i know i i've checked it every day like my patreon oh thank you to the three people on my patreon that are following me very nice. <laughs> oh, I was saying I'm in a warehouse. So everything you see here, I've done it myself. Like this table. It's wood. Um, this is the multiboard, the open source project. I've got a room. I've got my tiny studio that I made in three months because it's hard I learned uh, to make wires inside the walls uh, to put holes through walls uh, uh, I have a stair do you want to know where this stair goes nowhere there is nothing up there yet um, what else I have a forklift, even though I'm not forklift certified, who cares? What else do we have? We've got a lot of space. I've got my gym. Who knows, maybe even making live sessions while I train. Could be nice. I'm moving my 3D printers here on these two tables. Oh shit, light. I haven't seen you, seen you in a while. I've got a stone grill and field and just a bit of space. That's my room. That's my office actually. The tiny laboratory. And I hope you guys want to see me create things. It's story time. So what's my situation right now? Um, my own company is going to close. It was uh, based on the patent I made for, for a 3D scanner. 
I am still going to maintain the, these scanners. This galaxy mouse was completed six months ago. But life hit hard and I've got a lot of character development, if you know what I mean. Since my company won't exist anymore, for reasons, I can also show you my 3D scanner that I patented and even improve it. Why not? Looks like it's everything. I delayed a lot to make this video. Is it still recording? But no. Oh, my outro. This is going to be my new outro. Remember that I make stuff so you can too. Bye.